Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing revision exercise question number four only. This is about the main part, is the sketch actually. But I have I would like to solve the whole question. The first part is G F one. It means first I will find F of one. So F of one is coming four times one divided by one minus three is coming four upon minus two is minus two. And this minus 2, I will substitute here because the, this value is minus 2. The f of 1 is minus 2. So in G, minus 2 minus 2, when we simplify, is coming minus 4. And in the modulus, we write only plus and we have done the first part. Then we need to find f inverse of 8. For that, what we need, we need to find, like uh, this equation, we have to make the inverse. So inverse is y equals to 4x upon x minus 3 cross multiplication xy minus 3y is equals to 4x. x should be the subject. So I shift this in left hand side and 3y in right hand side. x common y minus 4 is equals to 3y and x equals to 3y divided by y minus 4 and this will become f inverse and this y will become x so now put the value a here so it's coming uh, 3 times 8 divided by 8 minus 4 is coming 24 divided by 4 and it's coming 6 so let me check the answer of this part is coming 4 and 6 and we have done it 4 and 6. Okay, moving to the next part. The next part is about find ff in similar form. So b is coming. f of f means f square we can say. So the 4 in the place of x, the place of x, I can write like this. In the place of x, I will put the whole equation again. 4x divided by x minus 3 and 4x divided by x minus 3 and this is coming minus 3. Now we just we need to simplify now. So this coming 8x divided by x minus 3 divided by this we can take the LCM here. When we take the LCM is coming x minus 3 here. This will multiply with this 3. So 4x minus 3 times x minus 3 this will be cancel out very simple and we can do the calculation now 8x is divided by 4x minus 3x plus 9 and finally is coming 8x divided by uh, x plus 9 and here x cannot be minus 9 because when i put minus 9 it will be becoming infinity so it's not possible and second thing we already have x here 3 and 9 so we have done it this is also like here is given so with this we also take so the next part the most important part is the sketch uh sketch here i think so uh this is the first time you will be doing this week how we can do the sketch of this part so let's start for the sketch part what i need actually uh g of gx means your equation this equation will be like in the modulus again in the modulus i will write x minus 2 and then minus 2 is outside so this is the composite function i have written here now i just need one thing i just need one thing uh i need all the values of x so uh, my observation is minus 2 so I will start from minus 4 when I substitute minus 4 so minus 4 minus 2 and outside is minus 2 so it's coming minus 6 and minus 6 when you remove the modulus is becoming plus 6 and minus 2 is outside now it's coming 4 so I will write 4 here uh, for this purpose i need i need all the possible values i will substitute here now minus 3 the minus 3 will give us minus 5 and this modulus will make plus 5 and minus 2 is coming uh 3 so i write 3 here 
then minus 2 minus 2 means I will write minus 2 here minus 2 will give positive 4 because modulus will make minus 4 as positive 4 is coming 2 uh, we can just do it like it will pass minus 1 can give just to explain you I want all the results minus 1 and minus 2 is minus 3 plus 3 is coming 1 and when it's substitute 0 is coming I substitute 0 here minus 2 is positive 2 and it's coming 0 okay that's good now 1 when I substitute 1, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, modulus is 1, is coming uh, and minus 1 and when we again open the modulus coming 1, okay. When I substitute 2 here, uh, 2 means here 2 minus 2 is 0 and modulus is minus 2. So minus 2 means only 2, I write 2 here. When I substitute 3, uh, 3 minus 2 is 1 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and it will become positive 1 because this is the problem here this feed when we draw the sketch or when I substitute 4 uh, when I substitute 4 I won't be little up 4 and 4 minus 2 is becoming 2 minus 2 and it's coming 0 that's the point this is a turning point actually when I substitute 5, 5 minus 2 is coming 3, minus 2 is coming 1. So let's start. Uh, we have all the values. This is actually g, g, x. This is x axis. And I need to draw the sketch now. Uh, so we have x minus 4 till 5. Okay, I can write all the possible value. Because this type of questions we do not uh, have in the exam in additional maths. I have not seen, but we have seen the quadratic equations. Uh, so let's, but because of the demand of a student, just maybe they need like IV secure students. Maybe you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is positive 5. We have made the range. Y is no negative value, maximum is 4. So that's good. 1, 2, 3, and that's 4 is enough. Okay, let's start with the sketch now. Minus 4 and 4 is coming here, like here. Uh, so, yes, minus 3 and 3 is coming a little bit here. Minus 2, 2 is coming here and minus 1 and 1 is coming here and 0 0 is here like this is v-shaped graph 1 1 is coming here 2 2 is coming here and 3 1 when i talking about 3 1 is moving backward this is the main problem actually because of this double modulus and 4 is coming 0 here and then is coming 5 and is coming 1 Okay, let me join this. The sketch, this is sketch, and this sketch. I think so. This is enough. Uh, these uh, like it will move up. Okay, I I want this, and then it will go like this actually. Okay, this is a sketch. Now, the second part, the most important part, is here. Uh, is state also the range of the values of the k for which this part. Please look at here g g g is equals to k what do you mean by this actually this is actually what this is a y-axis and we can say y is equal to k okay y is equal to k means uh, when you draw a line y is equals to 2 i will draw a line like this passing through 2 when i say y is equals to 5 i will draw a line y is equals to 5 when i say y is equals to 4 i will draw a line y is equals to 4 but when y is equal to k is there, it means I have to draw a line in such a way that the line should intersect at two real solutions. Two real solutions, two points, two points are very important. So if I draw a line like this, uh, I would like to use, okay, let's see. If I use this one little, okay. Uh, I think so this is better. To use okay uh, here how many solutions check how many solutions how many point of intersection one two 
3 and 4. So it means this is useless. We do not need this line when there are four solutions. We need only two solutions. So for two solutions, what I have to do, I have to draw a line which will intersect at only two points. For example, this is two points. Check. This is two points. One is here, one is here. Only two points are there. So it means this is a right line. This is like there are two solutions. And if I draw here a line, there are four solutions. If I draw a line here, there are three solutions. But when I move a little bit up, now again two solutions, like two point of intersection, it means it means that at this point, at this point, when the value of y is 2 here, the value of y is 2, let me change, the value of y is 2 here, and value of y is 0 here. So it means I will write k is equal to 0, when k is equal to 0, the value like, when k is 0, it means y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, there are two solutions, or when y is equal to like 2, y is equal to 2, it means uh, like the value of k is, should be, uh, if I write equal to 2, it means there are 3 points, 1, 2, 3. So I have to not write equal to, I have to write only greater than 2. If I write equal to 2, it means 2 is involved, there will be 3 solutions. It means I have to write only this sign as there are 2 solutions. So I have done it. So if you think this video is useful, please subscribe my channel, like my videos, share with your friends and IB Sakura students, good luck, wish you all the best for your final exams. I'm with you. What I can do, I will try my best to work with you. Thank you so much and have a nice day.